reserve for such a landing. It could have been big trouble for the landing. Just put in two batteries. Big in Calais, it should have known. They're hiring music to swore back. So, I'm in Normandy and I'm thinking, oh, they're going to land in Calais. By that time, the war's over. Maybe I'm not even have to fight them. What did they do? They land right on top. You know, <laughs> so I was not a new top beach, but about 15 miles inland. I was, my job was to guard a large bridge, which was over a, a, a hugely important for getting fast troops moving. And Germans realized that if the landing would, they would first take that bridge because they needed that. Plus the fact that it would prevent the Germans from getting flight. Well, when I, my platoon was 26 men. The full strength is 50. 36 was, that was losses for the war. <laughs> I had them as low as eight. So, I look up there, and suddenly the sky is tickled with white little dots. And one guy said, these are all parachutes. Can you <laughs> saw that? It was idiotic for me to fight a division. So, I did what I had learned in Russia, namely, the art of destroying without too many losses. Attacking costs lives, but retreating costs double. The best thing is if you can get without anything, <laughs> which happens specially. But by that time, the battalion had already said, catch up with us quick, we need every ounce of, 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 of lead to, to, to have that uh, attacking us. And, and in the meantime, I got, well, there was, I was in, I was, I was fighting American troops from the 6th of, from the landing, the 6th of June, June 1944, to the 16th of okay. Now, I stopped talking because I want your questions, okay? But I want to tell you what are the most important English words in my language. And I look back. Hands up! Excuse me. <laughs> the difference between 15 holes and that faithful heart of mine. And they all had maybe 18 guns sticking out of the bushes at me, and my medic was next to me. And we had seen them still, still. And my submachine gun was on the back. You know why? I think because my wife sent me a letter when she knew I was going to know one. The first American soldiers you see, he was up. But it wasn't that easy, you know. You could be shot in the back by the SS, yeah. by some super Nazi. You can be shot by an over-anxious American or a Polish-American, like the Germans. And it's taking a voluntary risk, which is so it's ordinary, okay? Even if you're anti-Nazi and don't like the Nazi regime and don't fight really for what, for what that war is supposed to be, your life is important to you, okay? You try to pursue it. Anyway, but I did put my 
the seventeen young back is always in in, 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 in fighting positions that we have right now in Russia. Even in my sleep, I would not go to sleep. And at one time, I needed it. They actually attacked the village, you know, through the gang community group in Moscow, Siberian troops. If I didn't have my machine gun right now, I might not talk to you right now. I received the Iron Cross first class because I was, my platoon was cut off from, from German lines in Ukraine in the, when I was in the southern part. And, and I didn't get the command early enough to withdraw from a bridge which I was supposed to dynamite. And the Russians closed in on us. Almost an enemy. And let me tell you, nothing is worse than now. Every step, they catch you, no matter what, they shoot you there because and there, there in the right, because you, you operate in the back, you know. There, there's, there's not even an effort to take the prisoner. Well, if you take the prisoner, you wind up in Siberia and never come back anyway. You're dead. So, you don't want to die, you know. I don't want to die. And all the, the men with me didn't want to die. I told them, look, if you do what I tell you, you have a sporting chance to get out. Because I know the area. After three weeks, I was about nine, four weeks, I got to Kriboy Rock, got out. And to the amazement of my dad, <laughs> pops up. He said, here is again. The third time I've written a letter to his wife that he's missed an action and didn't mail it. This one was be mailed the next day. He said, hold it. <laughs> but one day he did send it. And that caused a lot of That was a normal day. My battalion commander wrote, he finally didn't come back no more. He come back here. We waited long. We thought he must come. He always comes back. No more. Well, I was in a ship on the way to the line. I'd wait to Allensville, Alabama, prisoner of war camp. Okay, now, I've talked too much about myself, but I thought I'd give you a background and you know what questions to ask. You know what I know, you know, what I don't know, certain things you don't know. So, do you, upper question. Do you, do you remember this? Using one of these for laying mines? Pardon me? For laying mines, you remember using the device? We didn't have that. You didn't have that? Yeah. How'd you space them? We had uh, the old fashioned glass. You know. <laughs> Very, very inadequate. We were, see, the SS got all the good stuff, okay? <laughs> and and uh, uh, these S divisions, we, were, we, we, yeah. we, we didn't like them because they always got better food, got better everything. And and when they got into trouble, we had to pay them out. And, 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 and I didn't like that. I was, you know, my, my battalion was called the fire department because we was with the combat engineering, and, and, and uh, which was sent into this troubled spot. And uh, but uh, but we we got uh, we, 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 we were horse drawn. Our men had to walk. They walked to Moscow. <laughs> Believe this or not, they had to walk 30 miles a day. Did you see the landings at Normandy? 30 kilometers. Yeah. But that's... Oh, that's no, he was 15 miles in line. Oh, he was in line? Yeah. Uh, with all the things. But if you do that every day, you know, you get that. Yeah. Now, the tanks, the tanks, for example, would never move without us. I had the very pleasure to be sitting on top of a tank looking for the mines. <laughs> <laughs> see, there... And really for them to say, 
look for the mines because <laughs> they didn't want to run in the mines. Of course they didn't. Well, but I could be shot down from the tank by some Russians in the foxhole which we passed by. You know? That's saw them back there. Before. So. Do you think the Americans were good soldiers or? That, that was a bad, I was in a bad unit that way. So, okay, now next question, maybe, yeah. Do, 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 can you describe in, uh, engaging the Americans? Do you think they were good soldiers? Oh. Were do the you Americans good soldiers? Yeah. Pardon me? Were the Americans good soldiers, he asked. Well, to me, they are the best commanders in the world. I'll tell you why. They were not as stupid as the Germans. When they saw that they had infantry resistance, they just sent the people in there, you know, to mow down by the hundreds, you know, just so they look good, you know, and say they felt that just to them the lives of their men were important. And why should they do that? They had the planes. You know the the first attack they had with the, the, the Americans was they were in the in the woods. It was a small unit, it wasn't a big unit. And my platoon was given the order to get them out of there. So we look at the wall, we see them there, and I said, okay, we'll see if they leave without hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mm -hmm. If they don't, then we have to think twice what we do next. So, I'll tell you exactly what I did. <laughs> Saved my first life too. I put the machine gun on the right hand side. I told him, take that tree there and mark that tree very good because if you go left, you have a dead, a dead platoon leader. You can only shoot here. And I give you a sign and you start shooting. And then three men of my time, just three men, will go with me toward American. The Americans did the right thing. That's what I would do. I would go back to the battalion command and say, there's some three or, three or four machine guns. We have total losses if we sit here. I pull out my people and then we give them a nice little first taste of our things and then see what, what else they have to say. <laughs> so, but when I got back to my men I said pack up your stuff because in 10 minutes all hell will be closed. All hell will break loose here. Oh yeah, I mean this yeah. 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 And I find myself sometimes. Excuse I me, fellas. I, I'd really love to just continue this, uh, but I, I want to take advantage of, of, the, of the time we have, and we have quite a bit of shooting to do. So maybe we can yeah. okay. resume this in a, in, a, in a few minutes. So, uh, all right. Um, I just uh, really, I need, uh, I really. Need